welcome back to my channel. My name is Telltale Heart, and this is how you spawn powder ghasts. Before we get into the video, I'm only 29,756 subscribers away from YouTube rank, so if you could consider subscribing, I'd really appreciate it. Powder ghasts have long been ignored as one of the worst powder generating methods in the game. There's only two videos on YouTube right now that even mention them. This is probably because they were kind of useless until everything changed on the 1st of August, 2023 with the release of the Bestiary update. In this update, almost all mobs have been included in the Bestiary. So overnight, the Powder Ghast has gone from being completely useless to still kind of useless, but with some application. You probably clicked on this video expecting a quick tutorial on how to spawn these seemingly irrelevant mobs. Well, I'm going to do what no Skyblock YouTuber has done before, and bring you the ultimate guide to spawning powder ghasts. Let us begin with the spawning mechanics. According to the official Hypixel wiki, there is a 1 in 5,000 base chance of spawning a powder ghast per mithril block mined. There is also a 10 minute spawn cooldown specific to the lobby that you're in. That's the basics on spawning, here's how to optimize your rates. Most importantly, you want to max out your luck of the cave perk in your heart of the mountain tree. The good news is this is unlocked at Heart of the Mountain 3. The bad news is it costs 1.5 million Mithril Powder to max. This formula is provided by the official wiki. With a level 45 perk using the blue cheese drill upgrade, you can increase the spawning chance from 0.02% to 0.03%, making average blocks mined 3,311 down from 5,000. Additionally, the efficient miner perk at level 51 provides a 50.4% chance of mining an additional six adjacent ores. Assuming you mine somewhere with enough mithril ores to take advantage of this constantly, this gives an average of 4.02 ores broken per actual block mined. This reduces the number of blocks actually required to be broken to 822. Lastly, you can obtain the bestiary credit by hitting any pounder ghast once, even if spawned by another player. If you are looking to truly sweat this specific ranking system, I worry for your mental well-being, but I recommend finding other equally deranged people and taking advantage of each other's spawns. For those wondering about the impact of mining speed, yes, it helps get it as high as possible to reduce the time per block broken. At the end of the day, this is best done as a passive grind, but I felt the powder gas deserved more attention. Who knows, maybe an admin will see this video and sympathize with the poor forgotten mob and give it an RNG drop like a die or something. That's all I have for today. If you made it this far in the video, I appreciate you. If you haven't already, consider liking the video and subscribing. I'm a long way off YouTube rank, but you can help me get one step closer. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.